Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah from Discovering Dandelions. I am back today with a new video. People have been asking me ever since I started making soap that I should post how I make my soap on YouTube and I'm finally doing it. Um, so today I'm going to show you how I make these black raspberry vanilla bars. Um, I kind of, I've never made a, it's not so much a tutorial, but I've never made a video of me talking about something while I'm doing it. So <laughs> it is a little weird. I hope I describe enough things for you. I hope it's enjoyable to watch and maybe it's, it's as exciting as everyone thinks it is. Um, there's really not too much that goes into it, but it was fun to make. Um, so yeah, keep watching this video if you want to see how I made these black raspberry vanilla black and pink swirled soaps. Alright, so first let me start off by saying I apologize for the horrible lighting. Um, I don't have great lighting in this room and I'm casting a shadow every over everything, um, so not great. But um, what we're doing, we're starting with our oils. I have all of them mixed in here. I use olive oil, coconut oil, canola oil, avocado oil, sweet almond oil, shea butter, um, and then we have our water and lime mixture in here, which is going to go into here once I mix up the oils. Um, if you've never watched a soap making video before, uh, please don't be intimidated by the use of the word lye. It 100% belongs in soap. You cannot make it make soap without lye or sodium hydroxide. Um, in the final product of your soap bar, there's no lye left over. At least there shouldn't be. That's the goal. <laughs> you want to make a safe bar of soap, which is what we're going to do. Um, so I'm going to mix these up with my stick blender and then pour in the lye water solution. All right, and what you want to do here is um, pour the lye water kind of down the side of the stick blender or the side of the bowl so it creates less bubbles when it's going um, into the oils. So kind of tricky sometimes, but gets the job done. Alright, so I'm just going to mix this up a little bit. I always try my best to soap at room temperature or get as close to it as possible. So hopefully um, nothing will accelerate too much. The batter should not thicken up that quickly. Um, but you never know, once you put the fragrance in, it does get thicker sometimes. So I'm only going to mix this um, a little bit until it's like just emulsified. <laughs> I think that should do the trick. Alright, so now I'm going to pour in my fragrance. I am using uh, Black Raspberry Vanilla from Crafter's Choice. I get this from Wholesale Supplies Plus, which is where I get a majority of my fragrances from. Um, it's one of the most popular soaps I ever sell, and I'm out of it, so that's why I want to make more today. So I have um, all the fragrance oil in here that I'm just going to pour in, and then mix lightly just until it's all incorporated because I don't want to over mix this. So I'm not even going to turn the stick blender on. I'm just going to kind of mix it through. All right, that should probably do the trick. All right, so now we get to mix the colors. Um, might be kind of hard to see here. I have my two pinks, this is a lighter pink and a darker pink. Um, they're just micas from Nurture Soap. They are just mixed with about like a teaspoon or so of my oil mixture um, to get the powder all incorporated. So I'm just gonna fill these two things each with my base and then there will be leftover in here that's going to be black and that's going to be the main layers of the soap. So I'm going to do that carefully. So we got the light pink. I don't even know 
this is in the shot, there we go. And our darker pink. Alright, so I'm gonna move this aside. We'll mix in the black in a second. We'll start off with mixing our lighter pink first and then the dark one. And these colors aren't going to look so exciting at first. Um, I mean, even despite the shadow, it's a very kind of light pinkish tan. Um, this will change when the soap um, is fully dry and ready to go. Hopefully it will gel and then make the colors darker. <laughs> I'm mixing black into all of this it doesn't really matter that I just put some pink soap in there so not a big deal all right for the black I am using some activated charcoal um, that's from crafters choice I have never actually used this brand before so we'll see how it goes um, I am going for like a pretty dark black not a gray um, last time I did this I just used a teaspoon so we're gonna go with that and hope it works <laughs> Because again, like the black will typically, when I mix this all in, it's going to come out a little lighter. But once the soap has gelled and dried and is ready to cut, it should be pretty close to black. can't see we have a like kind of light gray batter on this lighting it probably looks green ah, this is awful I need to find a new camera setup and get some lighting all right so I have my five pound soap mold here um, with these grips on it because the silicone liner does not like to stay very well uh, just puffs out on this one side for some reason so what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna pour a layer of black and then I'm going to kind of swirl in randomly um probably the dark pink first and the light pink do that a couple of times and then top it off with some more black and then with the extra colors which i'll probably have i will scrape them out on the top and make a pretty design so let's see i'm typically like a super messy soap maker especially when it comes to pouring so let's see how i go while doing this on camera the bottom layer to be pretty thick there we go all right just gonna make sure it's even all right that went surprisingly well <laughs> maybe something about like talking myself through this makes it less stressful not that this is stressful but i'm typically like rushing myself and listening to music and just like having a really great time not that i'm not having a good time right now but it's just totally different doing it on camera and explaining what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Um, so next I have the lighter pink, which is starting to look orange. That's going to change though, don't worry. Um, I'm just going to swirl it in randomly. Oh, these things are messing me up. Yes, yeah, so I wasn't kidding when I said just totally random and messy. Let me try with my left hand that way. I'm not getting in the way of the uh, holder things. Ooh, this one's thick enough. Alright, it's the dark. Do the light again. Oh, 
kind of leave enough to do maybe a little more of each. I do try and save, well, I do want to save extra soap for uh, the very top of the soap. And then I also like to get a good amount of samples out of leftover batter. So I want to save some colors for those. That way they kind of, the samples kind of look like the actual bar of soap when I give them out. I'm going to swirl this just a little bit. Um, if I had like a toothpick of some sort, that would have been ideal, but I'm just going to use this end of the spatula and swirl this thing, get it more incorporated into the bottom layer. Not really sure what it's going to look like, but that's kind of the fun part about making soap is that you never know what's really going to happen. So we'll see how similar this turns out <laughs> to the last time I made this. I don't want to do it too much because I don't want the colors to um, mix up with each other. All right, that should do it. I think I can take these off now. No batter is going to spill. Well, unless I spill it everywhere, but hopefully not. All right, and now I'm just very li lightly going to pour the rest of the black on top of this layer. fine and then as you can see well maybe you can't <laughs> I do have a little bit of batter left over to pour into a sample loaf I right, just want to pat this down again make sure it's all evened out and there's no air bubbles all right so now I'm just gonna do a little fancy design on the top part of this with the leftover color I have Uh, this is so weird. I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> Normally I'm just like singing and listening to music. Now I have to try and talk to someone while not messing this up. Alright, probably doesn't really make sense what I'm doing right now and it probably looks like crap, but there is a method to my madness, I swear. So that looks good. All right, so I actually did have a skewer toothpick thing. So I'm gonna use this because it's skinnier to make my swirls. I think there's a certain name for the swirl. I don't remember what it is. I've done it a bunch of times, so I just don't really pay attention to it. <laughs> Essentially, let's go back and forth like this. I'll probably do this twice just to really make them mix together. I'm trying not to go too far into that last black layer I did. I think that does it. Here we have our black raspberry vanilla soap. Um, so I'm probably going to cover this with blankets um, so it heats up. The room I'm in gets pretty cold and I do want this to gel overnight so the colors really pop out. Um, so I will be back in the next uh, day or two to cut this and show you guys what the final outcome looks like. All right, so we are back. Um, the soap sat in the mold for about two days, probably only needed one day, um, but I wasn't home, so I didn't get around to doing it until now. Um, so everything seems to have worked out fine. We have the whole loaf here. Um, if you saw, I've made this soap before, so if you have seen this on my Etsy, it actually looks like it turned out pretty much the same. The colors on top look a little bit lighter as well as the um, black. And the activated charcoal I used to get that black color is kind of speckled, but I mean, it doesn't really bother me. 
but I am interested to see once I cut it if the colors um, are darker on the inside. So I guess I will go ahead and cut it then. I'm not sure if you can see. I do um, cut one inch thick bars, so I kind of already went through and marked out where the where the inch mark is. Okay. I'm also like usually pretty bad at cutting a straight bar. But I think that's one of the cool things about artisan soap is that they're never going to look perfect. And you can tell that it's handmade. So this is the end piece. Very nice. It like the swirl and the like the pink colors, in my opinion, look almost exactly the same as they did the last time I made this. Everything's the black is just a little bit lighter, like more gray than I had hoped, but no big deal. And I apologize for the lighting. It's probably the same as two days ago, if not worse. I will work on changing that for future videos. It's always neat to see the different swirls that each of them make because no two bars are ever going to be the same. Alright, so there we have it. Black Raspberry Vanilla Soap. Um, overall, definitely turned out well. They smell amazing, as always. Um, and I'm satisfied with the outcome. So I'm going to let these sit on a curing rack for at least four weeks, which means they'll probably be up on my Etsy um, in hopefully six weeks at most. And right now my Etsy is currently on vacation because I don't have... Um, a lot of things up there right now so I didn't want my store to look totally empty. So if you enjoyed this or if you have tips of if there's something you want me to talk about more on making soap, um, if I should explain something better please let me know because I'm going to be making more of these videos in the future. Um, so I want to make it as best as I can. Otherwise thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.